Hey viewers, my name is Kara. We are here at the Dollar Tree to do a little, it's not a challenge, it's a challenge to myself, but it's just a fun idea I came up with for Dayton Pagan Pride for their altar walk. They have people set up different altars for people to take a look at and then print up a little description, example, uh, explaining what that altar's for, etc. So I got this idea because I watch Mamrie Hart's channel and she occasionally does something that she calls the $10 haul, y'all. And she takes a $10 bill and goes to a dollar store and she just tries to find the craziest stuff that she can find for $10 or less. So I took this idea. We're at a Dollar Tree because these are the stores where everything is $1. And what we're going to do is put together an altar for the altar walk at Dayton Pagan Pride using $10 or less. And so what we're going to do is look for an altar cloth, representations of the four elements, a representation of God and goddess, and then there should be some extra, so hopefully something to represent center, spirit, mystery, stuff like that. So we're going to put an altar together with $10 or less at the dollar store. That's what we're doing. Let's go. So luckily it's actually like Halloween time, so we have all this fun Halloween stuff if you will please. So, uh, side note, if you need a witchy hat or something, they've got plenty of selections at the dollar store. It's always, and it's the little headband ones too, fun stuff. So, if you need witchy ensembles, check it out. But here I found an option we could possibly use for an altar cloth. I haven't decided yet. We're going to look around and see what else there is, but they have these awesome Halloween towels. So, that's an option. Or these. Lace mats. And also, again, because it's Halloween, plastic cauldrons. This is fun. Decorative pumpkins you can stab because they're made of styrofoam. <laughs> uh, creepy cloth could be a good altar cloth option also. I actually have these in my home. These are the ice cubes that I have all year. Shot glasses in case you need for libations. Probably the werewolf, because like the wild and all that. Yeah. And then there's the 
like a vampire. Werewolf, okay. <laughs> Werewolf and the witch are the god and goddess. And then what about for like center, spirit, mystery? We could either go with the cat or we can find another item. Let's keep looking. The cat is cute. And I love the sugar. Oh, wait. Spirit mystery, or also like if we're going with the Halloween tarot, it's Earth, or it could be a chest. Justice. I didn't intend for it to be also a Halloween altar. I just, you know, dollar store, and this is what happens to be here. Wow. Oh. oh, this is good. This could be fire, or it could be like center spirit mystery. Okay, so we ended up not vlogging the rest of the time in the dollar store because I did not pre-plan this, obviously. So it really was just. Let's go around and find the things. Um, so we're done now, we have all the things, and I will show you what they all are, obviously, and then I'll show you what they are um, when we get to the event. I'm gonna vlog it being set up, so this video won't go up till after. But um, I also wanna point out that there was a lot of things there that I definitely could have gotten that would be perfect for an altar and um, are not things that I just wanted to get for this altar. For one, definitely could have gone Halloween themed entirely, since that's what was at the dollar store. Totally could have found things. Halloween fall harvest theme. There's tons of cool stuff that all would have worked. But also like the dollars, they have fans that, you know, hand fans that would totally work for air. They have tons of things in different colors. So if you just wanted to go with the color correspondences, you could easily do that. That's not what I wanted to do though. Um, there was a cool, like uh, it was just a plastic skull on a stand with an adjustable jaw that would be really cool for like mystery or spirit for your center piece, but I was like, no, we, we did too much Halloween stuff, I'm done. Well, I mean, not too much, there's no there's no such thing as too much Halloween stuff. We did enough Halloween stuff for this altar. And then uh, we picked out altar cloths, which as you saw, there were tons and tons and tons of options. They are only ended up spending nine out of the $10, so I think we did pretty well. Okay, so here are all the goodies that we ended up with. I did end up getting this crazy thing because even though it was not completely necessary, I really like it and it was the only one and it made me really happy and sometimes you just have to go with something for an altar that really evokes an emotion from you. So that's what we got. I also got these hand mirrors. I actually have purchased this type of hand mirror from the dollar store before in the past when I was going to witch camp because I... Uh, brought them and I made art on them. So I was really excited when I saw this because I was like, yes, I'm familiar with this It's the right color. Uh, so this is water. I'm gonna use the small one so that it fits I have this little notepad that says follow your dreams for air because air is about intellect and Ideas and mental pursuits. So I thought a little notepad idea clipboard thing would be perfect I ended up keeping this cool little flower that says live for center spirit mystery we have our little werewolf guy for the god and our little witchy goddess gal this is actually the altar cloth the black thing we went with the green grow your own crystals for earth and to represent the warmth and fire uh, and passion basically the warm cozy fuzzy feelings part of fire we went with these awesome fuzzy socks. So I need to type up an explanation of that as well to go with this altar. This is our little altar, our $10 or less dollar store altar. Creative and slightly Halloween-y because I love Halloween and that's what was at the dollar store. So here we are and I did get a little clip of this at Dayton Pagan Pride but I just wanted to do this other clip at home because I didn't really have time to stand in front of it and finish out this video while I was there. So. Here it is again, all set up at home. This is the table we ended up having to use because we didn't have time to go and get the TV tray style tables. So this piece is not part of the $10 thing. It's just to cover the piece of wood that we had it on. So the actual altar is just this little bit here with our black and silver cloth, the blue webby awesomeness. We have our center spirit mystery flower that says live. Earth, our little tiny crystals here. They're little teeny crystals. They only had a few hours to grow, so I feel like it's not that bad. Air, notepad for ideas, follow your dreams. For fire, we have our fuzzy socks for warmth. I wish you guys could feel these. They're so warm and fuzzy. We have the blue mirror for water, reflection, emotion, all of that. It's a little folding compact mirror. And we have our goddess 
witchy. Love her. And our god of wild things, werewolf. And this is the printed explanation that went with the altar at the event so everyone could read about it. And there we are. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Look out for the video of Dayton Pagan Pride of the actual event. It's just, you know, pretty short clips vlog type deal. And I'll see you next time. Until then, don't forget to be awesome, blessed be, and goodbye. Or like down here in the shade. I'm recording now. Oh, is it better down here in the yes. shade? Yes. It looks like the lens is pointing that way, so I'm not in the middle of the frame. You want to be directly in the middle? Yeah. It's bad camera work. I feel dumb now. I'm still recording. Don't feel dumb. You look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and I can see Dollar Tree in the background, too. Oh, <laughs> good. So Perfect. Okay. You're not in the center of the frame, though, because I'm a good fine. cameraman. Okay, fine. I love you. I didn't mean directly. I just meant don't put me all the way to the side. Nobody puts car in the corner of the frame. <laughs>